It's another big night in the Hero Indian Super League. The wheels may have come off as far as the juggernauts are concerned, but they could still have a huge part to play in the title race. The Highlanders have to win to take the battle for top spot to the final day. It's Adisha FC against Mumbai City FC in that 4-4-2 formation. 4-2-3-1 for Mumbai City, and it's only the third time that Lafondra and Ogbeche have started the same 11 this season. Well, it's Mumbai to come out first. They are officially the away team tonight. They lost back-to-back -back games for the first time since the end of last season. And they have to win tonight or ATK and Mumbai can celebrate the title. There's a steely determination not to make the same mistakes as in their last two matches. Bartok Becce will be hoping to add to his five goals. He has 32 in ISL history. He's the fourth top scorer overall. But a lot rides on the shoulders of Ahmed Jahu, doesn't it? He's been key. And with Bumu missing as well, there's a little bit more importance put on his shoulders. Big night for Steven Taylor, who celebrates his 400th professional appearance. Career that started in England back at Newcastle. It's taken him around the world in the latter years of his career. And he, by his own admission, said what a disappointing season it's been for Adisha. It's also been a season of upheaval for them as well, having lost Stuart Baxter and then Jerry Payton. They sit bottom of the table with just one win to their name. Can they glean a little optimism for next season from their final two matches? Match 105 in the Hero Indian Super League. There are no second chances for Mumbai City FC tonight. They have to win if they want to finish on the top of the table. But Stephen Dias in interim charge will be looking to finish with a flourish. Tejas Snagvenka is our match referee tonight. Prachim Reddy is alongside me. I'm pleased to say that the moths seem to have uh, diminished a little bit. We had a, a real moth storm earlier on, and obviously, I mean, that can affect the players as well as it can affect us. But fortunately, things seem okay now. Nice ball. Diego Maurizio. Jerry's gone through the centre. Nice little dink forward. Jerry just gets there. Was he clipped by Jahu? Yes, he was. And that could be a card as well. Jahu and Renawade both ran across the back of Jerry. Well, I don't think I have any complaints about this. Diego Maurizio running at them. Jerry making the overlap on the inside. And Jahu had to bring him down before he's going to get that shot off. It's a first penalty of the season. And it's a chance for Diego Maurizio against Amarinda to put his side in front. Oh, the keeper got a hand on it and should have saved it. But it's crept in. There wasn't great power on it. It's not the best penalty in the world. But sometimes the golfing gods look down on you. And Diego Maurizio puts Adisha ahead. Well, I think he's almost tried to hit the goalkeeper and go straight down the middle. And it's straight at Amrinda. And he'll be very, very disappointed that he hasn't saved that. He's almost been caught by surprise that it's come straight at him. And it's, I think it's like taken a little bounce off of his knee and gone into the goal. But they all count. And it's 1 0. And those fans know there's an uphill task now. Set piece has been one of their key weapons in terms of getting back into games. Yeah, no side has scored more set piece goals than Mumbai. Oh, 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 oh. Brilliant header! Jahu with a delivery and Bartok Beche diving in where it hurts. It's a brilliant header. Archdeep oh, reacted. I think the ball was almost past him when he dived. It's a bullet header. Now, oh, Vinny tries just let him run off of him, but that's a brilliant, brilliant header from Bartok Beche. No one's tight enough. And he's just attacked that space, got his head on it, kept his eyes on the ball, and the keeper's got no chance. Good ball forward, Lafondra. Oh, oh, in the middle, takes a deflection. Oh, 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 it's bobbling around, oh, and somehow it stays out. It's back here by Lafondra. There was all sorts going on. There were penalty appeals, there were clearances off the line. It is one of the defenders slipping in that ricochet. He's done well initially to deal with that one, and the body's in the way. I think it's his own player that's clattered into Arshdeep on that occasion. But this was good reaction from him in the first place because that took a wicked deflection. He wouldn't have had time to react. And Adam Lafondre is a bit unlucky that his back heel hasn't gone into him. I think it's come up, Preet. It's Lafondre. That's Sai who's pushed out wide. Lafondre staying in the middle, making a little bit of a gap here. Here's Lafondre. It's a lovely first touch. Oh, it's right in the way and Bippin is inches away from getting a touch on that. Alicia left-hand side of the field. Sai so Godard once again instrumental in through ball. And that's just inches away from Bippin getting onto, onto the end of that one. Sai so Godard's outside him, Bippin's in the centre. Lafondra lurking at the back of the box. Ogbeche hit it on the turn. Bippin was a bit slow to react, but still finds the bottom corner. And again, Adisha's defence has allowed Bippin too much space in the penalty area. They should have got the ball away, they didn't get the
the ball away and once again they've been made to pay for it. Bippin scores to put Mumbai in front for the first time and is the title race very much back on track now. 2-1 Mumbai. Well, once again the fullbacks they don't stop the cross. I think they get a little bit lucky here as Abeche it deflects and rolls to him but no one reacts quicker than Bippin. We talked about how sharp he's been this season. And it comes from Shah who could pace and he runs oh, yeah. back. It's Obeche again. It's another stunning header from Bart Obeche. Two goals in the game for him, and you can rely on him to get goals wherever he goes. A natural goal scorer. And Mumbai have got a little bit of a cushion now as we approach half time. It's Bart Obeche's second goal of the match, his seventh goal of the season, but made again by Ahmed Jahu. Yeah, once again, you know the main man, you know who it's going to be, but you have to deal with it, and they haven't dealt with it. Started his run from outside the box, and no one's picked him up. And there's a tenth assist for Jahu. So he's certainly making up for his errors defensively by putting it on a plate for Obeche. So it's hard to believe when you look back through Bartol Obeche says, we'll talk about that in a second. Lafondre slipping it through towards Bippin again. Better clearance by Camel Britt, only as far as Sai Oh, what a finish from Sai Everybody wants to get in on the act tonight. He gets his debut here, YSL goal. And Aditya have switched off at the end of the first half. Two goals in two minutes. It's 4-1 Mumbai City FC. And you really do feel for the juggernauts now. As Mumbai have slipped into top gear effortlessly, having fallen behind in this game. That is a wonderful finish. To the best players in this Mumbai City team. And look at that for a strike. And it will be... Adisha to get us underway. Is he going to get the first hat trick of season seven? 45 minutes to find out. Premjit's come on, by the way. Budaring Bodo has come off. And Mumbai were involved in the biggest ever win in the Hero Indian Super League on the end of a 7 0 defeat against FC Goa in ISL 2. Here's Ogbeche. Sai alongside him, threads it through, Bippin, a little bit of space, Bippin, yeah! oh, Steve allows it underneath him, and Mumbai have scored right at the start of the second half, and Bippin's on a hat-trick now as well, it's another goalkeeping howler, but it's Mumbai City FC that go into a 5-1 lead, and he wondered whether Adisha might just batten down the hatches. Warner's weaker foot, he scored one with his left, and this time, players forced him onto his right foot, through the keeper, and the keeper should do a lot better there. It's just gone through Arshdeep's hands, and I think that's just maybe the pressure of being under the cosh with so many shots being struck at him tonight. But Sergio certainly won't be complaining. And we're talking about we're building up to Bata of Beche's hat trick. Maybe Bipin Singh might be the first one. Reminder if any of those players on yellow cards as uh, Jerry goes racing through here. It is Jerry! Side netting. Hits it with ferocious power, Jerry, but he's just the wrong side of the post. In 53 appearances now for Bartok Vecce across three clubs. Here's Manda. And he might not be finished yet. Good ball in, Bippin! Heads it just wide, and what a chance that was for the hat-trick. Brilliant ball in. Yeah, I was wondering if he, not only would he score a hat-trick, but the perfect hat-trick. He scored one with his left, one with his right, and that was there for the header. But the perfect hat-trick, you couldn't have scripted it any better. A long way out here, Shahu tries his luck. Arshdeep managed to get across, pushes it back into play, nobody following up. Vikram wins it back though, he's looked lively since coming on, brought down, that's another penalty. No question, it's a clumsy challenge, Vikram's going away from goal. Yeah, it's just seen Joe sprinting across, I've taken that shot to want to take that penalty, but surely he's got to let Bippin take this. And he has only scored one hero in the Super League goal, that was for FC Goa. Here is Yahoo against Arshdeep, and tries it, brilliant save by the keeper. Best save of the match so far, high five for Arshdeep. Yeah, there's a certain sense of justice there, but if I was Bippin, I'd be going across to Jahu and having words with him. I don't think they'll be playing FIFA together tonight, if they're in the uh, team room. Three waiting in the centre. It's Borges, bends it towards the corner, Arshdeep fills! Jahu missed the penalty, Bipin Singh registers the first hat-trick of Hero ISL 7 and fully deserved as well. It's more poor defending for Adisha who failed to get the ball clear, but in match 105 it's the first treble 
and it's Bipin Singh. It's Mumbai City who goes six one up. Well, sometimes there's justice in football, and this certainly was. This young man has deserved it for his hard work and perseverance. Could have had it the easy way with the penalty. It's had to do with a tough way. Followed in on that shot. It's great. Well struck by Roland Borges. Keeper once again to the rescue, but Johnny on the spot was Bippin. And when things are going bad, they just go from bad to worse often. Well, bang on the five minutes, the referee blows his whistle, Tejas Snagvenkar. It's been job well done by Mumbai City FC, and they now have a few days to prepare for the big one. Bippin Singh, the hat-trick hero. Two from Ogbeche, a hat-trick from Bipin. Sai Goddard chipped in with arguably the goal of the match, but in the end, it wasn't to be their day. It's finished here, Adisha FC 1, Mumbai City FC 6.